A DOT worker was killed on the job yesterday. Two others narrowly escaped when a semi truck driver hit them from behind. The 50 year old worker was a wife, a mother, and a grandmother. The grieving family she leaves behind wants this to serve as a lesson and a reminder to drivers. News 13's Gabe Chavez talked to their family today. He's live along Highway 285 outside of Roswell. Many Runyon's family said she talked about the dangers of the job and yesterday she lost her life because of it. I got the phone call a little before 11 that she'd been in an accident. Maddie Henson got the call yesterday no family member wants to get. Her mother Mitty was hurt and she rushed to the scene. As soon as I got there, I couldn't, I couldn't see her, I couldn't see. I mean, it was just chaotic. I mean, trucks smashed and parts everywhere. State police say two DOT crews were working in the right lane of Highway 285 near the Lake Arthur turnoff installing reflectors with their flashers on when a semi-truck rear-ended the truck Runyon was driving. The impact pushed her truck into a second DOT truck in front of her. Two DOT employees were outside the truck and were able to jump into the bed as the crash happened. They were rushed to area hospitals, but their injuries were not as severe as Runyon's, who died shortly after being airlifted to a Lubbock hospital. Maddie says her mother was a kind and hardworking soul who always strove to better her community. Just go get her real strong. She was, you know, involved in a lot of things. The, the horse council, the paws and claws, the rescue, um, animal rescue in town. She says her mother always talked about how many drivers were careless while they were out working and don't pay attention. There is a law requiring drivers to move over a lane when DOT workers or first responders are on scene, but few follow it. Runyon's family has a message for everyone so no one else feels this heartbreak. Watch out and pay attention to anybody that's out on the highway um, even if it's anybody just broke down police officers you know state workers any anybody now nmdot says workers put their lives on the line every single day working on new mexico roads and say if you see flashing lights slow down back to you Okay, thanks, Gabe. Mitty worked for DOT for 21 years. Her family says she often worked in the office, but she was when she was needed in the field, she didn't hesitate to go out and work with the crews. Police say they will be pursuing charges against the 45-year-old semi-truck driver. Also, that move-over law, you can face a fine of $117 if you violate it, but more importantly, you could hurt or kill someone. They did not have an update on the condition of the other two DOT workers injured.